My name is Mike Hansen with PG&E. Today's video is an overview of the bagging, tapping, and cutoff procedures of low pressure gas main. Tapping is a procedure of clamping a Mueller machine on the outside of a live main, where you use a combination drill and tap bit to drill a hole into the main while cutting threads so we can put a plug in the plug opening. Bagging is a procedure of inserting canvas bags into those openings which will stop the flow of gas on each side of the work area, allowing us to cut out a section of the gas main without having it blow. Once we have the gas cut off, we can then work in this area. In this case, we want to cut off a section of the live main and put dresser caps on the ends to kill this section of main. Then we pull the bags out of the plug opening and put the plug back into our tap hole. After we have all that complete, we'll soap it up, test it, make sure everything is good, put an anode on it, soak the anode, backfill the hole, and call it a day. Safety is always first. You should always consult the gas foreman's manual, the APR book, standard practices, or your supervisor before doing any low pressure bagging or tapping. By now, standard practices should be second nature to you. Never lose respect for the hazards of your job. Okay, today we're going to be doing a low pressure gas cutoff on a six inch gas main. This is where we actually were going to have to cut off. We always try to cut off near property line. That's where you try to cut these mains off right at property line. So they dug down here to cut off the property. The vault was on top of the main. It was poured into, into the, the vault was poured into the main. I'm going to utilize this hole as actually, actually my, my bag on. This is where I put my bag. I clean this out drop the bags in there. Over here, I'm just going to tap out a bag hole. This is for demonstration. Uh, actually, there's quite a few safety issues today. We have uh, a high traffic area. It's a very busy intersection. You notice the public safety is set up all the way up the street. Uh, in this area, it's tough to take up a whole street, but we have to, to maintain that the public knows as they're driving down and realizes that they have to move over from a, from a, uh, a greater distance. We're also going to have a hole at one end of this street, and there's also going to be another hole at the other end. If you're using a cylinder bag, the tap size must match the threads of the cylinder and, of course, the plug you will use after. With his flash suit on, he's going to lift up the bit out of our tap hole, making sure we don't damage the threads. Always back the bit out by hand. The officer and other employees are going to control the pedestrians and traffic. Keeping your wet rag ready, loosen up the chains, and while holding up the bit, slide the machine. On a steel main, carefully stick your finger in the hole and clean off the burrs. Be careful not to cut your finger. Now we clean the shavings out with the copper tube. We use a copper tube to ensure there won't be a spark. You must clean out the bottom thoroughly or the bag won't make a tight fit and gas will seep through. Plug this hole and repeat this procedure for additional bag holes as needed. Okay, this is a, a situation that we mocked up for you and to uh, show you how this is operating. Um, this is just a demonstration. Every case and scenario will change. But you need to go to your uh, your, your uh, foreman's manual, which will tell you how to do this properly. And if there's a question, you want to consult someone, a supervisor, to uh, get the correct answers. Safety is an individual's responsibility. It is your obligation to know the hazards of that job so you can perform it safely without injuring yourself or others. You should always consult the gas foreman's manual, the APR book, standard practices, or your supervisor before doing any low pressure bagging or tapping. <laughs> 